This channel is what studying abroad dreams are made of. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Life School Connect. Like every week we are back with some really interesting content and this week I want to talk to you about one of the top study abroad destinations and that is Australia. Australia is very famous around the world for its beaches, its coral reefs, uh, you know, spectacular landscapes and definitely a go-to place for all tourists. But it's also one of those top places for studying abroad. And today I will be sharing top eight reasons why you should be considering Australia as a great study overseas destination. So the first thing I want to talk about very quickly is the quality of education in Australia. Now, you'll be surprised that Australia is one of the most popular study abroad destination among Asians and to be more specific, over 17% of the students population is Indian students. So definitely a very warm and welcoming place for a lot of Indian students. Another thing I want to talk about is that among the top 100 universities across the world, the top 8 are from Australia. So they definitely understand quality of education and a lot of government funds are driven towards the education system of Tree. And to add to that, I want to tell you guys about the uh, style or the education uh, you know, style. And that is that a lot of what is taught is research oriented, right? So what that does is it adds a lot of uh, experience and hands-on understanding to students and it definitely creates a lot of character in whatever you study. The next thing I wanted to talk about is lifestyle and culture. Now Australia is one of those multicultural countries where literally every fourth person is a person who is you know from a different nationality and that is how much they welcome people from across the world and in terms of the people who are there and uh, you know the citizens of the country they're very relaxed and friendly people so if you ever walk into a place uh, over there you will be welcomed and you will be spoken to as if you're almost their friend right so People over there are extremely warm and comforting. Few other interesting things about the culture is that since people are so friendly, uh, professors are actually uh, professors actually expect students to call them by their first name. So instead of sir or madam or professor X Y Z, you will be calling them Billy Joe or whatever their name is. And another really interesting thing about Australia is that they take their work-life balance very seriously. So if you are a student studying over there and then you want to transition towards working in Australia, rest assured that you will be in a place that respects your personal life and respects the fact that you want to manage both and balance both peacefully and in harmony. The next thing I want to talk about is the places to visit. Now, Australia is so rich in terms of landscape and everything that it has to offer for people who are traveling and exploring that it's a must for you as a student to check out at least a few places. I will see if I can add a few pictures on the screen and uh, you guys can look at some of the most spectacular things that Australia has got to offer. Right from its coral reefs, you can go for a scuba diving or uh, you know snorkeling and uh, you can travel across the deserts. There's absolute amazement when you go out there and explore this country. The next thing I want to talk about is the stay back policies of this country. Now, the stay back policies are pretty relaxed when you compare it to other countries around the world. And um, the best thing about Australia is the job opportunities. Australia is one of those countries where it's still flourishing and developing at a rapid rate. 
right? Uh, so even in terms of the multinationals that are there, there are a lot of top multinational companies that you can apply to and definitely look at some great uh, job profiles right after you finish your course in Australia. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is scholarship options. I know uh, the cost of studying abroad is a deal breaker for a lot of you guys. And that's why Australia is definitely one of those countries that you have to look at if you are on a tight budget, right? So uh, I think in terms of expenses, if I had to rank, Australia uh, would be, uh, you know, pretty economical compared to say USA or even Canada. So definitely consider it from that perspective as well. Another interesting fact is that uh, the, uh, the Australian government sets aside over $200 million each year. Uh, and of course, it's a growing number. So $200 million each year for students specifically international students who are coming in and are looking for scholarships. Now, these scholarships are both uh, merit-based as well as need-based. So definitely check in with the universities that you're applying to. Uh, see if there is anything that you are eligible for. Uh, write to them, email them and check in with the admin department and see if you can apply to any of these government funds or scholarships that are available, in fact, exclusively for international students. Another thing that definitely adds up to Australia's profile is the language. Now, 75 to 80 percent of Australia is English spoken. So if you are a student traveling from a different country, then uh, it's a lot easier for you uh, if of course you know English and you've, you've studied in English all your life uh, because you will be transitioning into a country that is English spoken. Now, unlike countries like Germany or Russia, where you are expected to learn the language over there, right? Of course, learning in a new language altogether and something so complex because you would be picking up something for your ma masters or your bachelors and learning in a new language, which again you are learning, is going to be super difficult. So again, a plus point if you're looking at Australia. But before I finish this point off, let me tell you that Australian, colloquial Australian is very different and the local slang is very different from the regular English uh, that's used from maybe, maybe in uh, US or maybe in India. So I would recommend you guys to watch a few Australian series, maybe on Netflix. Uh, MasterChef could be a great way to start off because uh, the more you learn the lingo, the slang that's locally used, the more you'll understand what the people around you are talking about, right? So definitely keep that in mind. And I think the last thing I want to talk about is choice of subjects. Now, like I already told you guys, uh, Australia has some incredible courses right from an MBA or MS. Uh, there are some amazing things out there. Colleges like the Australian National University have course combinations, have actually over 750 course combinations. And that again shows the, uh, you know, diversity and robustness of the courses available at the, you know, education system in Australia. So I think that's pretty much it in terms of what I wanted to discuss briefly about Australia and its education system. So if you are looking at studying in this brilliant country, definitely go ahead. It's a great place to be in, both for education and reaping your, you know, ROI in terms of work and job. So definitely a country you should consider. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the content. It really supports us a lot when you guys subscribe and like what we share. We really get to know whether what we are putting out there for all you amazing students is reaching you or not, or even if it is useful or not, right? So you can even follow us on social media. We are iSchool Connect everywhere. We have a podcast channel. 
uh, which is available on Google, Spotify, Apple, pretty much everywhere. It's called Study Abroad Tips. Do check it out. And for anything else, you can always connect with us on our website and our phone number. All the details for all these things are mentioned in the description. Until next time, this is Malvika signing off. Please take care. Bye-bye.